Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Swift Edge SFE16-43. For removing the bottom plate, you have to undo a total of 10 Torx head screws. Then you can pry the bottom panel with a plastic tool. The best starting point is one of the two zones beneath the hinges. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The battery is a 54 watt hour unit. You have to pull out the connector from the main board before upgrading or cleaning the internals. Removing the battery is almost mission impossible. It's glued to the base, and the adhesive is super sticky. Detaching the battery seems dangerous to us, because the unit feels spongy even if you try to gently unglue it starting from one of the four corners. If you push harder, it starts to flex badly, so just don't try this at home. The capacity of the battery is enough for 6 hours and 40 minutes of web browsing or 5 hours and 53 minutes of video playback. The memory is soldered to the motherboard, but at least the maximum possible amount of RAM is 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5 memory in dual channel mode which sounds future proof. For storage, there are two M.2 slots compatible with Gen 4 SSDs. One of them is hidden below a ZIF ribbon connector, so first, you have to disconnect it gently before accessing the NVMe. The cooling looks modest. It has two small fans, one heat pipe, one heat sink, and a heat spreader. 